Hey there, welcome back guys. This video is going to be about how to bind your Pavo 20 if you're having issues with it. I actually reached out to um, Beta FPV and we troubleshooted back and forth and apparently there was a solution that actually worked. But there are many different variables that can come into play. So I'm going to go over all of them and then um, most likely one of them will work for you. Okay, um, so this video uh, was actually um, inspired by Vinci's visuals commented. I know my comment is for another drone, but I got lost with your update on Pavo 20. Were you able to resolve the issues and get it to fly? Followed Anthony's instructions, which is, um, Anthony's actually from Betaflight, um, which is the same you received from him. Um, re the use the DJI 03 connector cable and so I did that and it worked for both my Pavo Pico batch 2 and Pavo 20 but stumbled upon a new issue where I couldn't get both drone to fly it just spins wildly then motor will stop suddenly and won't arm hmm interesting for a few seconds then it can be armed again but will just still spin around really a bummer good thing i still have my patience intact with my pavo pico batch 2 and pavo 20 hello hello yeah that's a bummer so there's some issues but we're going to we're going to try and solve all that and we'll show you it working in real time all right so one of the issues like one of the troubleshooting solutions that beta fpv recommended was to use the original cable that came with your o3 air unit um, that connects from the O3 air to the flight controller. And that actually worked. I was like, oh my God, this is great. I got my drone up and running. But then um, I ran into other issues where I won't even get into, but it works, guaranteed to work. Um, so that's one. Okay, the second one is to do this. What you want to do is you want to open up the flight controller. Okay, beta flight, um, not flight controller. You're going to open up beta flight configurator. Okay. You just connect it, and then when it loads, we'll have a look inside. So come, let's see. Um, and then from there, you're gonna go into, let me just get this thing out of the way so that you guys, um, we're gonna use that in a little bit. Um, you're gonna go into motors, okay? And scroll down and make sure ESC sensor is dis deselected. You want that off. Okay, so in other words, if you, in case you're wondering, if it looks like that, put it like that and then save and reboot. So like the, for your example, you're going to click save and reboot, but not now. You're going to click save. Let's see, it's going to highlight it um, after you do that. So make sure that's off. Okay, and then what we're going to do is now um, we're going to, uh, I'm just going to get another screen ready for you guys. I just want to make sure we did everything here. All right, so now we're going to go into your goggles, okay? And there are some settings in there that have to be done. All right, so what you want to do is we're going to um, put in a battery, okay? Actually, before you put in the battery, you want to make sure that you turn the remote controller on and then you turn on your goggles. This way it's some it's in binding mode. And um, as you know, or you don't know, so if you're new and like watching this, but uh, those of us have been doing this for a while, the unit will get hot. And once it overheats, that's it. It's gonna shut off, okay? So that's um, the next thing we're gonna do. As soon as this uh, powers up, now I think I can put the battery in. It's a good time, I think. Yeah, it should be. Uh, and you should hear it beep. You get a green light. Okay, and then it'll go beep beep, and you're gonna see it. Um, it's gonna appear on the screen over here. And when it does, um, I'm gonna go over the settings and what you need to do in the goggles to um, hopefully get it to arm. Just wait a little bit. And you know, there are different variables. Um, maybe it was your cable, maybe it was your settings and your goggles. We, we don't know. Um, oh, actually, just give me a second. I have to um, connect the uh, phone, right? And the goggles, because as you know, that's the only way to get it to work so that you can see everything 
being pushed from here to there and from there to the uh, computer. Okay, except now that's upside down, which we don't want. Um, hold on a second. Give me a moment. One moment. I'm just going to quit this and then open it again. Um, where is it? Oops. DJI. Fly app. Great. All right, so now we're in the right direction. Now, you might see the throttle thing, so the thro I'll delete the errors. If as long as you're... Oh, that's really weird. Um, just give me a second, and I will fix this. Actually, I'm going to... Well, I have to be fast with this, because remember, you don't get a lot of time, right? I'm um, going to rotate um, left. There we are. Okay. Um, so, you might get a bad RX. That could be because it's not in... If you have a look in the right mode, so you, if I just see now it's fine uh, and my modes are working. Um, oh, wrong one. That was the beep, but this is acro, horizon, angle, but okay. But I'm going to go through the settings for you, right? So that you can see what you might possibly turn off the beep. Okay. Um, so you're going to go into your settings, okay? And then you're going to go right here, settings, and then control. Um, and then you're going to go into, you might have, a, if you have S bus selected, if it looks like that, you're just going to go hit standard, okay? And then after you hit standard, um, you're going to go here. If you have a remote controller ever, um, like if it says calibrate or you have like a joystick error or something, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to, um, Go into control, remote controller, and then you're going to scroll, scroll, see RC calibration, and then you do the RC calibration. We can start, um, let's see if I go down, and then you click start, and then you calibrate it. And once you calibrate it, your error should go away. And it's really tricky, but you just follow the directions, and you'll be fine. And in case you're wondering what it's like, I'll show you. Hopefully, there's enough time to do that. Um, but this is the last step that you do. Let's say you have that R, that red bar on, on the side and it says um, remote controller error. So you, this is where you are. Click OK. And now I'm going to go here. Um, I'm not sure what that beep was. All right, so now you just, let's say, I'm going to do the left side. So I, I put you put this like this. See, and like that. See that? So now, uh, oh, oh, but you want to make sure, um, one thing I forgot. You want to make sure your joysticks are centered, okay? Let's put a center, that line that goes across. And now start, click OK. And now I can calibrate. All right. So now you're going to wait for it to like send its signal. There we go. So now I'm going to put that at 100%, down 100%, put it in the middle, start there 100%, there 100%. Okay, now I'm going to do the other side. So I'm going to turn this, see, so that green is there. Okay, so now I'm going to go there. Whoops, I'm oh, sorry, wrong, wrong side. And I'm just putting it back. So now I'm going to do this side, right there, the right side. 100%, 100%, 100%, and, and it did it. See that? So that could be another, that'll get rid of your error. So now, oh, I'm just about to click here. Maybe one day when I'm a cyborg. Whoops, I can go back because I did it. So now, as you can see, unit in low power state, but we have no errors. You saw that if you had a green or whatever, if you had a red, that would get rid of that. And then, if you did all that correctly, if all goes well, your unit will start up. So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to, I believe those were the only uh, issues, right? And so now, if I disconnect, okay, um, we're still streaming. I'll just make sure nothing's touching. Okay, and now if I go, <laughs> this is in the remote, uh, make sure you're in the mode that you want to be in. Um, hold on a second. Oh, I think the battery may have overheated. Yeah, air processor overheated. That's okay. We'll get like one, um, one, uh, one thing out of it and there's also the firmware you want to download it's in github so you can do that too for your drone you pick whichever drone so i'll just leave a link to the main github site but you decide which drone you need it for
it's just an air duster, but it blows cold air. And so when the unit overheats, you know, um, but you see what I mean? That game that was about three minutes, three minutes of nothing like for the drone. He's like, what are you doing? I'm just sitting around burning up. It's hot in here. And then shuts off. Okay. So let's see if we can get it up and going again. I don't need the goggles because as you can see, I'm connected. So we just need to see the view from there. Ah, perfect. So you gotta be really fast. See, we're here. So now if all goes well, make sure your throttle stick, this is down and then throttle stick down and now it should load. See, except it's really quick, tricky. Whoops, see that? They're gonna be gentle. Let me see if I can get it. Like be the snake charmer and try and get it in the air. Okay. Okay, here we go. Whoops. Damn, let me try again. It's because it just goes zoom into the air. All right, let's try again. Well, also I'm holding the battery, so it's supposed to be flown that way. But I'm trying to see if I can try and. Well, it's tricky because it's just, it's not meant to be flown that way. And plus you need both hands to do it. So anyway, that's how this works. And hopefully this will help you um, get things up and running with your Pablo 20, Pablo Pico version one and Pablo Pico version um, two and um, whatever Pablo's come next that will be supported on the DJI um, uh, controller and goggles. Anyway, I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.